This video will discuss how to navigate Facebook Messenger on a desktop device, such as on a computer or laptop. On the left side of the screen, you will see previous chats with Facebook friends. To start a new chat, click on the pen and paper icon beside chats on the left side and type in the Facebook friend you would like to message. When you start a chat, you can also audio call or video call the individual. To do so, click on the telephone icon to audio call or camera icon to video call, which is found at the top left of your messages. At the bottom of your screen, click on the text box and begin typing to send a message. You can also attach a file from your device by clicking on the landscape icon beside the plus sign. The icon beside that allows you to send stickers, which are moving images to describe your feeling or depict a situation. You can also send a GIF by clicking on the icon that says GIF, which is an animated image that repeats and is usually humorous. When you click on the happy face icon, you can add emojis to your text messages. Clicking on the thumb symbol represents that you are sending a like, which indicates you are in agreement or sending an acknowledgement. On the right side of the screen, you will see the name and display picture of the individual you are chatting with. Under this area, you can click on Profile to be taken to their Facebook profile. You can also choose to mute a chat by clicking on mute. Muting a chat will prevent you from receiving any notifications when there is a message from this user. When you click mute, you can choose if you want to mute messages, calls, or both, and how long to mute notifications for. Then click mute. Repeat the steps to unmute. To hide the right panel, click on the three dots at the top right corner. When others send you a message, you will receive a notification and the message will appear unread with a blue dot beside it and bolded text. When you open a message, the sender will know you have read it as your profile picture will appear at the bottom right corner. You can also use reactions to react to a message sent by others. To do this, hover over a message and an option for reactions will appear You can select your preferred reaction to the message. Remember to react to messages only in appropriate scenarios. For example, if someone messages see you at the support group this Tuesday, you can react with a thumbs up to notify that you acknowledge their message and will see them. You can reply to a message by hovering over the message. Click on the arrow. And type your reply and click enter. To remove a message you sent to others, hover over the message, then click on the three dots. Click Remove. You can choose to unsend for everyone, or just remove for you but others can still see the message. Click Remove. You can forward a message to other individuals by clicking Forward when you select the three dots. Then select who you would like to forward the message to. You can also pin important messages by repeating the same steps, but instead select Pin, which allows you to have easy access to find the message later in the chat. If you receive a message from an individual who is not your Facebook friend, it will not automatically go into your main chats on Messenger. Instead, you will see a message under the Requests tab found on the left side. Once you reply to the message, the other individual will be able to see you read the message. However, if you do not reply, they will not see that you viewed the message. If you delete the request, the individual will not be notified. To adjust settings for Messenger, click on your profile picture at the bottom left corner. Click on Preferences. Here you can turn on or off your active status. The default of the active status is turned on. Your active status allows your Facebook friends to see if you are online or not. To turn it on or off, click on Active Status, then adjust the toggle, then click Save.
Here you can also turn on or turn off your notification sounds by adjusting the toggle, blue for on and gray for off. You may also turn on do not disturb by adjusting the toggle, which will mute notifications. To check security alerts, which informs you of devices that accessed your account, click on Privacy and Safety. Then end-to-end -end encrypted chats. Click All Security Alerts to view which devices had signed into your account. 